In this tutorial, you are going to learn about the purpose of the WI-180C EtherCAT gateway and the interface. You're going to learn how to import the ESI file, create a project, configure the hardware and integrate the coupler, how to read and evaluate process data, and to read and write service data. WI-180C is a field bus gateway, which can connect up to 16 device modules. It supports WLL-180 devices, KTL-180 devices, as well as displacement measurement sensors. For detailed information about the interface of the WI-180C, please look at the Operations Manual. To import the ESI file of the WI-180C, download the ESI file from sick.com and copy it into the following folders on your hard drive. TwinCAT, 3.1, Config, I.O., EtherCAT. Once you have launched TwinCAT, open an existing project. Please make sure that you are connected to the PLC. In order to be able to find the components later on, put the PLC in Config mode. Use the Scan Wizard to search for devices connected to the PLC. Select which bus you want to scan for devices. In this case, it's the EtherCAT bus. As you can see on the left, the gateway was successfully recognized. First, we check the configurations of the slots. In this case, we have connected four WLL-180T modules and all of them have been set correctly. Let's have a look at the in and outputs. The inputs receive the switching outputs of the sensors the outputs contain either teach or error signals. Below the modules, you see the respective in and outputs. All variables for in and outputs are two bytes long. Each bit represents a connected device. Now create a PLC application to connect variables to the hardware. Once you've opened the newly created project folder, you will find the main application in the POU folder, or called Program Object Units. In our example, we will declare variables for the output of Channel 1, the Teach In, and the received light level of Module 1. Now that the variables are accessible, you can link the channels to the variables. Press Activate Configuration. After we have put the PLC in Run Mode, we can look at the values of the variables. In this case, the binary switching output. Set the display mode back to decimal to see the value of the received light level of module 1. For reading service data, the library TC2 EtherCAT is required. Right click on References and select Add Library. In order to be able to read and write service data from the PLC, we are going to add two function blocks to the application. We have to allocate memory space for the two function blocks.
As an example, we will read the device name. Therefore, we have to look up the index in the operations manual, which you can find on the SICK website. Now we will write service data. As an example, we will set the threshold of channel 1 of module 1. Let's say we'd like to set the threshold of channel 1 of module 1 to 400. Using a calculator, we can convert this number to hexadecimal and paste it in here. Now the threshold of channel 1 has been successfully set to 400. As there is no error code received, the threshold of module 1 has been set to 400. In this tutorial you have learned how to integrate WI-180C with a PLC, how to import an ESI file, how to read and evaluate process data, and how to read and write service data. Thanks for watching and see you next time.